Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 014 underscore BIABM and open it. You can also download this file on the website or use your own file. If you don't have access to any exercise file, just sit down and watch the video. Go to the quick access tool and click the save as button. This will bring the save drawing as dialog box. If you plan to open this file in the earlier version of AutoCAD, go to the file of type and click the down arrow. I'm going to select AutoCAD 2007. Rename this file to 00 underscore 015 underscore DIABM and click the save button. Go to the view control and click the custom view ground floor plan go to the go to the annotate tab dimension panel and select the linear dimension command as please manifest extension line origin or select object prompt press enter to use the select object option zoom in into this area and select this line move up and click as you can see autocad draw the dimension in the current layer and you cannot tell the difference between the dimension dimension and the object is dimension select this dimension click the down arrow and change the dimension st to standard press escape to see the results now go to the home tab layer panel and click the layer properties manager click the new layer button and rename this layer to dim Click the color switches to change its color. Select the index color number 6 which is magenta and click OK. Close the layer properties manager. Now click the down arrow and set the beam layer as the current layer. Select this dimension, click the down arrow and move it to the beam layer. Press escape. Now the line appears as a solid but still you cannot tell the difference between the line the dimension line and the object that dimension also you cannot see the text unless you zoom in closely then we have more precision that we, than we need to avoid this problem let's set our dimension zoom out go to the annotate tab dimension panel click the dialog box launcher this will be the dimension style manager select the standard and click the modify button this brings you to the Modify dimension style dialog box with the alternate unit tab current. Click the text tab and change the unit to 250 millimeter. Press the tab key and the text style leave it as it is. In the fill color section, click the down arrow and select the background color. But to have a, a better understanding of how the fill color works, I like to select the background option. But in this case, I'm going to select a color that way you can understand exactly how the text will look. I'm going to select the yellow background. Then for the text color, let's click the down arrow and select blue color. You can draw frame around the text, but I'm going to uncheck this option. In the text placement section, the vertical text click down on and select center the horizontal six click down on and select center the offset from dimension line click and type 12 millimeter press the tab key and text placement select align with dimension line go to the arrows and symbol section you can click and select whatever arrow you want to select or use architectural stick. Let's select the architectural stick and go select click the line tab. For the line color, click the down arrow and select by layer. The line type, leave it as it is, line with leave it as it is. Extend beyond stick, type 75 millimeter, press enter baseline spacing type 750 press the tab key and in the extension line section change the color of the extension line to 
sign this way you have a better understanding how the lines look for the extend beyond dimension line i'm going to select a bigger measurements to to so that you can understand exactly what this measurement does then later i bring it to the normal measurement that i want i'm going to select 800 millimeter press the tab key you see now i'm going to change it back to 75 millimeter press the tab key offset from origin let's select the offset from origin 7, 750 millimeter press the tab key and click the fixed length option and change the unit to 900 millimeter press the tab key click the fit tab either text or arrow fit best select both text and arrow button keep always keep text between in the text placement section when text is not in the default place place it over dimension without a little line click the primary unit tab click ok for the moment to see the result in the drawing area and select the standard set currents click close now the dimension is being updated now you see the result let's go to dimension again and edit the precision click modify go to the primary unit take the precision to zero click ok close press enter to open the dimension style manager modify and go to the text in the fill color click down and select the background color click close click close now autocad use the background to fill in this area you can only tell at the moment that you are using a fill color because you are not see the grid through the text all right in this tutorial we grid a dimension style and modify it in the next tutorial we will continue our dimension if you found this tutorial useful click the like button and share it to your friend if you have any question or you want a specific tutorial please leave a comment below if you want to continue on this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye